what is up guys uh, we are back here with another opening this time we got the 25th quarter century this is such a weird name for a 10 man the 2023 tens boys are here so, i mean they've been here for a year uh the reason i'm opening this up is because i'm trying to clear stuff uh, from my closet first of all i had these in my closet and then also we're getting the 2024 tens uh in like a month and a half so you know i thought might as well open up the uh the old the last year's tin in preparation of the new year's tin um but they're both both tins are not going to be that good in my opinion like if you look at the value of this tin in particular currently it's like at 125 dollars which is like i don't know 60 or 70 percent off msrp like it is big yikes on how bad this uh this particular set did um Anyways, so we're going to see what we can do here. There's not much value, like I said, uh, but opening up some cool, uh, you'll open up a tin and seeing a cool QCR, like Rainbow Dragon, is kind of dope. So anyways, yeah, Rainbow Dragon, not the worst, not the worst. I mean, I, I think the worst one is like Decode Talker or something like that, or Heat Soul something. It's like a link, or that Synchro guy uh, that I'm blanking on. Anyway, so Brilliant Rose. Baku, the Beast, and Ninja. The ninjas actually were doing stuff too. That's the the funny thing. And now they're just uh, no one's using them. Endless Engine, Ar Argrio System, Exosister, Arment, uh, Runic, Golden Droplet, Rika Princess, and Exosister. At least, actually, there's one more Prismatic coming up because there are two per per pack. Uh, this the the whole shtick in this set. They, they did put more blingity bling bling in each pack, but they just overloaded the set with cards. So even though you're getting twice the pull rates, they increased the pull, the, the pool of pulls. So you're pulling about the same in terms of value. Uh, they do that quite a bit. Uh, Libromancer, Magi Girl, Reverse Jar, Rare, uh, Laughing Poofin. Super rare, ultimate fusion, ultra rare. Groza, the Groza Tyrant of Thunder. Okay. Uh, Huggin Runic Wing. So, honestly, I, I am complaining about value, but I feel like all the Runic cards in the set, depending if they ever see reprints, are actually kind of hidden value, even though they're pretty cheap right now, right? If they don't see reprints just because of how good they are and kind of generic. They don't lock you into a specific archetype, and they are powerful. You know, I think every YCS at least has one runic representation since their release, I think. So, yes, uh, I do think those are going to be some secret value uh, long-term, depending on uh, on the reprints there. But uh, we got Dogmata, Dogmatica something or other rare, Dinomorphia, Kintanjarina, super rare, Amazon is... War Chief, Ultra Rare, Scatter Fusion. We got Master of Chaos. Nice. Prismatic. Uh, Sigurd. That, that looks pretty nice, man. Off camera. Not gonna lie. Uh, Scare Claw. Try Hard. Try Hard over there. The And this is what I'm talking about. Like, the, the Amazon is War Chief. Should not have, all the Amazon is cards should not have been in this set. And it just increased the set size artificially. You know, Konami just throwing crap in here that didn't need to be in here. And dropping the value of the set. And I know, I'm, I'm sure most of you guys are tired of me hammering that point in. But since we're going into the 2024 tin season. And they're going to, like, it, it gets egregious, guys. <laughs> they're putting in 400, 125 more cards in each mega pack. Uh, this year, this upcoming year, 2024. But we got Dark Magician. Hell yeah, let's go. I don't know if this got dethroned as the most valuable one, uh, but it's definitely up there, you know? Also, one of my personal favorites, because, I mean, I, I'm not a Dark Magician fanboy, but it is, it is, like, the OG art, and that, that just has a special place in my heart, because my first deck was uh, the Yugi deck, so... Yes, it has a special place, guys. Laughing Poofin. We got Rika, Princess, Ultra Rare, Ultimate Fusion. And then we got a Dino Might, Power Load, the Draco Slayer, uh, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. There we go. Hell yeah. We got the uh, 
the, the new blue eyes and the new dark magician in these mega packs. Um, trying to remember what cards are have value. I think it's just uh, Cash Tira, one of the Cash Tiras, and then one of the uh, Beasteals, um, I believe. I believe. So uh, we got Theory and Stand Up, Super Rare, Groza, Tyrant of Thunder, Ultra Rare, Amazonas, War Chief, uh, Ultra Rare. See, again, we got it again. Blazing Cartesia, The Virtuous. I think this got reprinted recently in, in Terminal Revenge. If not, a very similar card um, as a Secret Rare. So, again, it's a lost value. That, that's the other thing, too. Like, Konami will print stuff and just make things that lose value at a whim, right? I don't think it even needed a reprint. And it, it just got a reprint in, in Terminal Revenge. It's just, just really weird. And it got shorted in Terminal Revenge, too. I think it was like three per case. Which is insane. Uh, donor, a dagger for hire, rare, soul scissor, uh, super, that's a weird name, scatter fusion, ultra rare, black wing, Zonda the dusk, ultra rare, there's another black wing, black wing, Sudri, the phantom glimmer, uh, prismatic, secret rare, that's cool actually. I do like the black wings, but uh, I feel like the old OG black wings. They looked cooler. Like there was something different about the OG Black Wings that the the new Black Wings just don't have. Uh, what's his name? I'm, I'm gonna put it when I'm editing this video. I'm gonna put in, in post um, one of my favorite Black Wings, and it just doesn't have the same look and feel as the new ones. But uh, anyway, so here is the 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 synchro. This is probably the least valuable uh, QCR in the set. Uh, it is what it is. But uh, let's see. So Labyrinth, Stovey, Torby, uh, Double Exclusion, Libromancer Realized, Theory and Cross, Libromancer Prevented, Empress Alesia, um, Extra Pendulum, Rare, Exosister, Armand, Super Rare, S4's Lapswell, Ultra Rare, okay. Camelot, uh, something or other. Ultra Rare, Cashier, Unicorn, not the one I was talking about. But, uh, hell yeah. And then Labyrinth, Servant, uh, Secret Rare as well. So that's cool, I guess. We've got, uh, I mean, Labyrinth too, I guess. But usually trap-based decks do fall off for some reason. Like, there's something weird about trap. Like, uh, Elric, right? That was the last format's trap-based trap, trap -based deck. And it just fell off randomly. Sunlit. Uh, Sentinel, Therian Bull, Ain, Super Rare, Therian Reaper, Foam, Thumb, Dinomorphia, Domain, Ultra Rare, uh, Vision with the Eyes of Blue, Prismatic, Seeker Rare, and then Beyond the Pendulum, Seeker Rare. So, I mean, that, that pack wasn't that good. They made a lot of the Blue Eyes and Dark Magician stuff higher rarity in this set, too, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Thunder Discharge... Black Feather Whirlwind, Black Wing Twin Shadow, uh, Fair, Fair Welcome Labyrinth, uh, S-Force, Retroactive Rare, Number C-32, Shark Drake, Vice or Vice, something like that, Ice Jade, Cosmo Ultra Rare, Runic Destruction Ultra Rare, Black Wing, uh, this, this guy looks pretty dope though, uh, Shamal the Sandstorm, um, Secret Rare, and then Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle, Secret Rare. So, okay, okay. All right, so the third, fourth uh, tin here, we got Deco Talker. So Deco Talker is in here. Maybe there is also a Heat Soul something or other. But, uh, all right, so there it is. Nice and shiny, QCR. Cool. Let's see what these packs have in store for us. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so there's only six. I only have six left because I bought a case and I opened up the other six previously. But I'm pretty sure... In my last videos, I didn't really pull anything remarkable from the packs. So, yes, like, the value is just so bad, guys. And it makes me really jaded for these Mega Pack uh, packs, essentially. Blackwing, Chinook, the Snowblast. That, this guy looks pretty cool, too. Water Enchantress of the Temple. That looks really weird. What? It looks really, like, like, you can... What is that? What? That doesn't look like a... Okay, so... Prismatic, right? It has that shininess. This is just reflective. It, it almost looks like a ghost rare. It, it almost reminds me of a ghost rare. I should say it doesn't look like a ghost rare. 
it's really reflective. But, uh, I mean, that, that looks dope, actually. I'm going to put it to the side. Uh, we got Runic Fountain. Nice. Probably one of the better cards in this set because it's a very recursive card. Like, if you want Runics to be uh, more balanced, you, you ban that card, Konami. Or you put it at one. They get one, and that's it. Um, Melfi Penny. Earth's Arctic Radiation. What do we got here? Branded in Central Dogmatic. Oh, what? Therian Duke. Yule. Super rare. Elba Lenatis. Lenatis. The Abyss Dragon. Ultra rare. Runic Freeze and Curses. Amazonas Pet Liger King. See, why is this a Prismatic Seeker rare? No one is using this card. Like, what? And then this is Star Frost. Uh, Seeker Rare. So, well, speaking of like disappointments and stuff that no one uses, this archetype, biggest disappointment of like 2023, 2024. I'm glad they stopped printing cards in that archetype. The Mana Diums, the whatever. It, terrible. Waste of, of, of main main uh, main pack slots, man. The Bastille Al Belows. Dynamorphia Frenzy. We got the Ancient of Destruction Venus. I think this is, this is wasn't this from like a structure deck too? That got printed in here for some reason. I, I don't know, but it feels it feels out of place. Runic Flashing Fire, Ultra Rare, Primitive Planet, uh, Secret Rare, and then another Blackwing, Shamal the Sandstorm. That looks pretty nice. The the shininess of it. Like in, I, I wish the camera would do more justice, but uh, what, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so let's get the um, the fourth. Or, wait, I'm losing drag here. Four, five, the fifth. Uh, tin here and see what we get. We can uh, if we can pull another dark magician because or or stardust. I haven't pulled many stardust. Cyber dragon. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Cyber dragon boys. Hell yeah. I I also try to make sure that it's not overly damaged because a lot of these um, promos, not necessarily from this set in particular, but a lot of pro a lot of promos that I do get come in like like damaged <laughs> so yes i always do try to to um make sure they're not damaged essentially dynamorphia brute jerry the runic fangs rare exister super zalamander that that's a badass name ultra rare spellbound ultra rare martha secret rare and then sudri the phantom glimmer see okay compare and contrast the two this looks like the og black wings that looks like futuristic weirdo black wings to me. I don't know. They kind of look more like the assault mode black wings from the manga, not the OG black wings. But uh, anyway, so Liebermancer Fire Burst, uh, Sky Ninja, DD Double Ds, Griffin Dragoonity, Sinatis, some Dogmatica card, rare, Arius Vernal Dragon, super rare. Cash Zero Preparations Ultra, Spiral Double Ancient Ultra, another Huggin, okay, Secret Rare, and a King. The regular is the King has spoken. That is awesome. Uh, that card was like $40 before the reprint and it fell off so hard. A lot of the stuff that can, can be summarized from this era, you know, like the 20, 2002, 2003-ish era, as like... Very short-lived, if that makes sense. A lot of the arcs, a lot of the cards were very short-lived. Um, Dynamorphia, Kent Regina, Super Rare Ren Runic Destruction, Ultra Rare, uh, Libromancer Fire, okay, Therian Discoliseum, Secret Rare, and then a Cash Tira, Shangri La, Secret Rare, okay. All right, so let's get the final tin in here. Honestly. I kind of want a Neos now. Screw it. It's not the most valuable, but it is the card I most covet from this set. So, let's see. What is it? Boys, it is... Oh, that's a terrible one. We got a Galaxy Eyes uh, Photon Dragon. Dude, that, that is pretty terrible. I ain't gonna lie. Is Utopia in this set? Actually, is Utopia in this set? I kind of forgot. I don't, oh, he is, dude! I haven't really pulled many. Yeah, I haven't pulled a Utopia. I don't remember. I don't remember pulling a Utopia. That is crazy. That is crazy. All right, so Brilliant Rose, Terrors in the Hidden City, Dynamorphia Alert, Amazon is Golden Whip, Decisive Battle. We got a Moonin, the Runic Wings, Rare Silent Wolf, 
Kalupo, super rare. Amazon is spiritualist, ultra rare. Therian Charge, lovely labyrinth of the Silver Castle, secret rare, and then a scare claw, Reich Heart, secret rare. Dang. All right. So, two more packs here. I'm actually going to show off that Water Enchantress again because I do feel like it, it, it is pretty different. Now that I'm seeing all these prismatic secret rares, like maybe it is just Water Enchantress of the Temple is just more shiny? I don't know. Smile Smile Potion Super Rare. Maple Maiden Ultra Rare. Uh, Aqua Ultra Rare. The Zombie Vampire. That's pretty dope. Uh, Secret Rare. And then Garura. Wings of Resident Life. Hell yeah. Although got reprinted, so the value got reprinted hard. <laughs> so the value dropped um, also as hard. So Supreme Sea Mayor. Uh, Exclusion. Cross Keeper. Fair Welcome Labyrinth, Dragoonity, Zenetus, the Basile Alba Lowe's, okay, Morphtronic Converter, uh, Super Rare, Dark, the Dark Charmer, Gloomy Ultra Rare, Griffin Rider, I think this got reprinted to death too, I think it was like a Super Rare originally, and then I think it got printed in Magnificent Mavens or something like that again, and then again here, a lot of reprints, uh, Flu Wonderies, Secret Rare, and the final card is Labyrinth, Labyrinth, Seagrare. Oh boy, a lot of not very good cards, <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. But I mean, look at that. Like there, there's something here, I, I feel like. It's it's kind of a ghost rare, but kind of not. Like there's all these other cards. You guys cannot see my reflection, right? You guys cannot see me. But over here, like what is that? That is so cool, dude. I am actually going to keep this in a binder let me know if you guys have pulled a card similar to this like it's not even that shiny like it, it it is in certain um lighting like you can see the the glossiness right there right but it's more reflective than shiny that is cool i'm definitely keeping this anyways catch you guys in the next one